Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Happy New Year to everyone. And yeah, it's been a while since the last time I did a painting tutorial. Today we'll be painting a parrot. So it will be an animal painting. And here are the colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial. We have lemon yellow, primary blue, red, titanium white, uh, sap green, and black. You know, I, it feels like I haven't really done a lot of paintings lately. That's why it's kind of weird as well. Uh, when I do the video again, it feels like first time again. Anyway, we'll be using an A4, an A4, no, 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 not A4, A3, <laughs> A3 canvas paper. Actually, it's a cardboard I'm using because I already ran out of canvas paper. So I'm gonna use my cardboard here. So this way as well, I'm gonna show you that you can use any material that you, you have within your reach or whatever it is that is available to you at the moment. So yeah, it's gonna be the same thing anyway. If I paint it on um, a canvas paper, it will be the same thing for me. Maybe the techniques will be a little different because of the, the texture. But anyway, I'm bluffing so much. So I'm gonna sketch first the subject. Oh, by the way, before this, we sketch first the subject, I'm gonna background first my, my ward. And the background color will be just green and black and white, all right? So let's begin now so that we don't waste our time. I'm gonna get my blue and yellow. If you don't have green, just mix blue and yellow, and then white, and then black. All right, and then I'm gonna create some blurry background. So this is just a suggestion of what's in the background. We will not going to be detailing what's in the background. Just a suggestion. You may choose not to cover the left side because it will be painted with, it will be covered with the parrot painting anyway. So in order for you not to waste paint, you can choose not to cover it. But if you love, you know, starting from zero, yeah, you can do that, you can paint that. So the background will definitely not uh, be anything, okay? I mean, it's not really something that would affect uh, the main subject. It's still a parrot, regardless of the background. This will just do, uh, or the purpose of this is to uh, simply give contrast when we do the colors of the parrot. All right. Again, I will not be bothering myself anymore painting this area because a large part of the left side will be covered with the parrot itself. It's not bad. Using a cardboard for this is not bad after all. This is not the first time that I'm doing this. Actually, this is like probably the third time that I did this. Okay. Some white, just to give some sort of light effect. I'm really just playing here. Okay. Right. Actually, that is a nice background. Now I'm gonna sketch first the subject, but I'm gonna get first a small pillow because I'm having a hard time sitting down on the floor. When I paint on my own, like we're not 
when I'm not on video or when I'm not videoing myself, I'm painting on a table. But when I'm doing a tutorial, I should be on the floor because uh, of the light, okay? It's gonna affect the quality of the video. All right, I'm gonna sketch first the subject before we proceed to detailing. And since I'm using a cardboard, it's quite absorbent. I don't have to really dry it before I proceed to sketching. And for the sketch, I'm just gonna use my, hmm, maybe blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of black just for you to see it against the background. And I'm gonna start sketching the subject now. The sketch is quite easy, in all honesty. So this will be like the first uh, wing. Okay, it's very easy. I told you not to paint this anymore because it'll be covered with the parrot anyway. Okay, since I am eyeballing everything, I probably will make some sort of adjustments later. For now, I'm just gonna roughly, roughly sketch it. This will be the, um, the beak. Okay, like that. And this will be the second wing. You know how much I love cropping my subject? Uh, I don't really paint the whole thing because it, I find it really weird painting the whole thing. I don't know why. It just It's just not dramatic for me. It's just not very um, painterly, I guess. So I'm going to use my blue while I'm at it. I'm going to use my blue. I'm going to start underpainting the first wing that we have here just get your primary blue don't worry too much for now just like that okay and we'll do the same thing over here and please uh prepare your um palette oh no 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 not palette knife your pen brush because we'll be using that to create some feathers or details on the feathers. I'm gonna get my black and start darkening this side. So mix it with the blue to make some dark blue colors. This will also help us achieve some sort of dimension. And also right here. Okay, now I'm going to switch color. I'm going to switch my brush as well so that the blue will not mix with the color that I'll be using next. And I'll be getting my yellow and red. Just mix them. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black just to tone the color down. More red. And I'm going to color this middle section of our parrot. You may add a little bit of white so that you don't get that translucent um, color of the yellow. Yellow is quite translucent. I don't know if you noticed that, but it is. At least my yellow. I don't know about your yellow. All right. Right. Maybe I'm gonna grab some white so that I lighten this left side. Okay, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna return to my blue color. Just get your blue, mix it white. 
and color the top of the head i think I, i'm gonna make some sort some little adjustment i keep saying sort <laughs> don't uh, imitate me <laughs> it's not a good habit so i'm gonna color it blue just like that and while i'm at it i'm gonna get my sap green and color the head So try to blend as well the colors and you know me if I'm blending I usually use my fingers to blend okay I'm gonna get my black now and I'm gonna make some partition Just to identify where the head is gonna go, where the eyes are gonna go. Okay, while I'm at it, since I have my black here, I'm gonna go in um, underpaint the beak. Okay, I think my the beak. Okay. Okay, I just had some adjustment. Okay. Just color this area black. We'll do the detailing later. For now, let's just color this area black. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna get some gray. I'm gonna get my white and I'm not washing my brush completely. I'm allowing the black color to create some gray color for me. And I'm gonna start doing the face, okay? This is just the underpainting by the way. It's not the actual the actual color of our parrot. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna get my black again and let's color. this area I'm pulling it down because I'm also we should follow as well the patterns of the birds feathers we should not be doing some rotating brush strokes because it will be visible okay and we don't want that all right Okay, I'm gonna get my black again and just continue making some markings on this side, on the, I mean, on this area of the neck. 
little markings. Okay. Also here. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch my brush, the brush that I used for the yellow. I'm gonna get my pure yellow plus white, and I'm gonna make some. Okay, that's two white. Okay. I'm gonna make some highlights right here, and definitely use my finger to just blend. Okay. And I'm allowing as well the brush to do some job for me. I'm allowing the the bristles to create some feather like brush strokes for me. So just control the way you handle your brush so that it helps you as well it's not just you doing the job but your tools as well okay i'm gonna darken my yellow and red color to add more depth okay. so i'm using almost brown i'm just gonna darken this area and also this Just like that. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna get another brush just for me to have a cleaner um, color. I don't want the other colors to mix. I'm gonna get my pure white. Of course, it's not super pure. <laughs> Some colors will be mixed because my paint is still wet, but I don't mind. As long as the most dominant color is your pure white, other colors mixing with it will not matter that much. It's actually good. It will make your painting look more natural. Anyway, using white, I'm just going to go around the beak area. Create some like patterns. Like that. And of course, I'm using my hands or my fingers to tap. Okay, just like that. All right. I'm going to get a smaller brush, a more pointy one. Using black, I'm just going to go create some 
detailing on the face. It's not the eye. It's not. If you're hearing some little noises, either it's from the outside, I mean from outside, or from upstairs because there is still some construction going on upstairs. That's why I'm trying to be quick as well. All right, now for the eye, I'm going to carefully draw a little not circle but um, you know what I'm talking about the eye it's not circle guys it's not but the easier way to describe it is like a, it's like a circle all right just like that okay I'm just gonna thicken this area Okay, now I'm going to get my white and I'm going to highlight, oops, not white, I mean gray. create some detailing okay. so I'm gonna get my brown and if you don't have brown just mix your red and yellow and black maybe white as well more red and I'm gonna use this brown to add some detail on the beak Okay, and I'm going to make some brown spots right here. This is my deal today. I'm just lucky that the construction is not yet going on so that you will not hear it. But if ever the construction proceeds while I'm doing the tutorial, Please bear with me. I'm not going to cut the video anymore. I did that before. It just frustrated me. And yeah, you may choose to quiet the video if you just want to see me paint. But I'm not going to cut the video anymore.
Okay, using black, okay, I'm going to make some dark colors. The weather is so nice at the moment. It was raining earlier and now the sun is shining. And the beak, just to fix that. Okay. All right. I'm going to get some white. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. We don't want it to be super white. Oh, this is super blue. Okay. Just like that. Using this light blue, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the top of the bird's head. It's very noisy outside. I'm going to get my green. Almost like dry brushing. Okay, and then pure green. It's like I'm doing a gradient effect. And then dark green. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow. The light is actually um, affecting Okay, anyway I'm gonna use some white And make some highlights on the top of the head I'm grabbing a lot of colors that I'm not supposed to grab. Okay. Just like that. Okay. 
Okay. Right here. Some highlights. I'm also now removing the sketch lines because we don't need it anymore. Also here. All right. Gonna get my black and a little tiny dot right on the middle. Okay. And I'm just gonna add some Using some more black. I'm going to create some patterns on the wing. Just like that. And then maybe a cleaner brush. I think I need more yellow. Using yellow, I'm just gonna apply that color on the feathers. And I'm randomly doing it, quite randomly. Just like that. Although it's random, I'm following a certain direction and that is quite diagonal, as you can see here. I'm not just applying it randomly. Um, I'm applying it diagonally, still following a certain pattern. Okay, let's get back to our brown. Let's apply some sort of brown. Again, that word. Right. 
Okay, using some gray, let's create some more dimension on the feathers. Just like that. Hmm? I feel like it's too dark. I mean, it's too bright. I'm going to close the curtain. Okay, let's go back to the background while waiting for the paint to dry. I'm going to get my white. And some browns. What was that? What was that? Okay, I'm gonna gray the eye. I hope it's dry already. Maybe not. I'm not gonna touch it until it's fully dry. <laughs> okay. Using some yellow orangey color. Let's soften the feathers. So I'm making a little bit of a circular uh, circular brush strokes just to soften the feathers. And I'm dragging as well the black paint down here. Let me check. I'm gonna get my brown. I think I need more brown.
some more highlights on the face. I'm going to create some space here. to emphasize the beak all right Right, and then I'm gonna get some white. Okay, I think I need to allow some like light in the background again. The abstract will be very useful when it comes to the background. I just want it to be abstractish. Now I'm gonna darken a little bit of the eye. We don't want it to be super white, okay? darken this the corners Now I'm going to use pure white. It's not really pure because my paintbrush is dirty and muddy.
I'm just applying some browns on the bird's face. then black Right. Let me check. Using pure white, let's create some more.
you might. I told you guys that I'll be using my um to go this fan brush but um, maybe not anymore And I'm gonna fix this. And I'm gonna add a little more orange colors. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. 
Let me check. Okay, I think I need more. I'm gonna use my fan brush. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna grab my yellow orange. Just drag that color up to create some feather-like patterns. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm going to grab some blue and green. Apply it in the same manner, just like so. Okay, some blue again. Okay. Just like that. Wash a brush out. Using white. I'm just going to tap. And using the remaining white, just gonna grow, go and create some more light effects in the background. Okay. We're almost done. I'm just using the remaining white to give light. Oh, this is what I like. This is what I like more, all right? I, okay. I'm going to stop maybe right here. Or maybe I'm just going to add a little more highlights. The abstract background will give us some contrast, which emphasize, or which will emphasize the main subject. All right, way better. Oops, <laughs> my hand is out of control at the moment. It has its own, its own life. <laughs> Using some yellow. I'm just gonna get some yellow like that. Okay, you can hear some hammering that's upstairs. Okay. Anyway, we're done. So you don't have to worry too much about the noise. Okay. This is 
Oh, I like this more. All right, so I think I'm gonna sign this now, right? I think we can sign this now. And I'm gonna use my black. I'm gonna sign right here. Okay. And maybe I'm gonna use just one more little thing, all right? I need to do this while it's still quiet. I'm gonna use my white. And I'm gonna dry brush just on the beak. Okay. All right, I like this better. All right, so we're done. I'm gonna end this now. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It's quite simple, uh, very beginner friendly, I think. Although I stress so much about other things, and now I would like to add a little more detailing right here. Yeah, sometimes I stress too much, especially when it's been a while since the last time I did a painting tutorial. Okay, let me just correct one more thing. Although I said I'm gonna end the video already. Little adjustment right there. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna end the video now because I'm start I'm starting to obsess about the details. Just like that. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below as well. I'm going to link in the description box below the previous part painting tutorial that I did so that you can choose between the two. And yeah, I think I should be preparing now for my gym class because I have, um, I have to go to the gym as always. <laughs> and by the way, I just want to darken a little more. And yeah, that's it, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep stressing you out on small details. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys.